Good evening, everybody. Welcome to El Toro Dice Club. El Toro here. So uh, today's video, we're going to do a little bit of dice control and betting at the same time. And I've had a lot of people that have taken a look at my El Toro $1,000 buy-in. So I'm going to go ahead and play it for you so you can see how I do it and uh, get a good feel for how this, how this works. Now, for those of you who are new to the craps scene or you're new to my channel or you're new to playing craps and you're looking for a tutorial blah 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 i am not a beginner this is not a beginner's table or a beginner station or channel so i apologize however you are going to learn a lot and i go very slow and i give you some detailed explanations one of the first ones is etiquette what does that say i hope y'all can read it it says off that means you should stay off the table if you don't know what you're doing. No, that's not what that means. <laughs> what this means is when this says off, this is when you can put your money down and buy in. We're buying in for $1,000 today. That's when you can buy in. If this says on, please don't throw your money down. You're just going to screw up the table. Uh, and honestly, it's, it messes up the flow. It doesn't make the dice any colder or hotter. It doesn't make the shooter any colder or hotter. What it does is it messes up the flow of the table. And if it's a shooter who's marginal uh, and they're a little bit more on that, uh, uh, I don't know how you want to call it, but if they're, if they're kind of fickle, you're going to mess up their rhythm. So be courteous. Buy in when this thing says off, then you can put your money down. Just literally put it down. Don't try to hand it to the dealer. Just put your money down and just stand there. He'll grab it. He'll count it out. He'll give it to the pit boss. The pit boss will count out your money and he'll sit there and count it and say, okay, what do we got? And he'll tell him, $1,000 buy-in. Your dealer, whoever's in front of you or next to you or side to you, is going to count out your money and give it to you. Bring it and put it up, on the table, up in your chip rack. That's what you want to do. Again, these are some basic, small courtesy things that you want to do to uh, make sure that you don't become the instant enemy on the table. All right? This is a fun game. Enjoy it. This is a super fun game. Again, my wife and I, we make a great living at it, but we've learned through the School of Hard Knocks how to do a few things. Ah, huh, what's out there? What's all that out there? Y'all see that? Oh, I'm going to play with chips today. We're going to have some landmines out here. Got a lot of guys saying, hey, do you play first thing in the morning? Do you play at night? Do you play like, you know, whenever there's nobody on the table? Yeah, because your table's blank. No, I don't. I play when there's people there. Uh, again, I like to hide. I like to hide in plain sight, if you will. Uh, you know, for me, it's not about, it's not about, uh, it's not about getting all kinds of crazy recognition. It's just about going out there having fun. I like to go and play at, you know, middle of the afternoon. Heck, I think it's best, actually, or early evening. So there's, you know, maybe six, eight players on the table, four on each side. It's not too packed. It's, uh, we've been to tables many times where you're sitting at eight on each side and two rows deep, everybody's waiting to get into the game, right? Uh, I've seen that before. Sometimes you just got to sit there and just wait. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and do the uh, El Toro betting plan. I'm gonna do mine with a $1,000 buy-in and we're gonna play basically $25 chips. Uh, and I've got my hot numbers. As you guys know, I have my hot numbers. So that's what we're gonna do. So here we go. We're gonna play 10, five, ten. I'm the shooter. So I'll be playing a $25 pass line bet. I do not hedge my pass line bet. I don't do any of those things. And I'll show you how I play too. This is actually how I will play. I'll immediately buy in right off the bat. This is what I do. So you guys can see and get an idea for how this works. I, I don't like to waste rolls. That makes sense. I do not like the waste rolls at all. There's my $2 buy-in for the four and 10. So I'm stretched across right now on everything, $25. My bets are working, even though that puck says off, because I'm calling mine on. Ah, oh, shoot, you know what? I forgot my lammers. Forgot to order them. So my bets are on, so everybody knows. 
I'm using my 3635 die set adjusted to my screwed up hand and wrist. Okay, so here we go. Everybody's out there, everybody's nervous always at the table because they, I guess they bring more than what they can afford to lose. I, I look at it and say, bring what you can afford to lose and pretty much have at it. Minimize your, uh, minimize your exposure is what I try to do. All right, dice are out and I'm gonna get set up and see what we can do here, guys. Six, four, ten. Okay. Six, four, ten. So we're going to go ahead and mark the ten up here. This is what they're going to do. They're going to bring this to the ten. And I get paid. Because my bets are working, I get paid. Two for one. Okay. Now, those of you who've been watching my video, you already know what my hot number is. Look, I'm putting it right here. It's, it's gonna be the nine, the eight, or the five. These are my three, my top three big hitters. So I'm gonna leave it there. On the 10, I'm gonna play $50 behind my pass. And then we're gonna go, hopefully, in 20 minutes or sooner. Whoops, I can't throw with this thing in the way, can I? In 20 minutes, we'll see how much money we can make. All right, dice are out. So now they've given me the dice. I'm going to grab my dice set. I'm not too worried about everybody saying, oh, God, here we go. No, I'm not worried about all that. I've got one thing in mind, guys. My landing zone, my focus, my concentration, and 100% confidence in my throw. Whoops. Ah, screwed that up. But guess what? Hey ho! Hey ho! 32! That is my five. Look at there, even with a screwed up throw, that landed. So that you guys know, that landed really short. I want to say it landed somewhere in here. And it landed on the points, the corners of these dice. It was horrible. That was a terrible throw. But you know what? I'll take it. $100 five pays how much? One what? Yes. 140, that's exactly what it pays. And I regress down to quarters, okay? Gotta mark my five. I take my money, put it back up into my chip rack. Now, I'm on casino money, almost. One more hit and I'm here. All right, dice are out. They're gonna give it to me again. Again, the, the goal is not to be at the casino for hours, right? Remember I said on my last video, the goal is point hits. We wanna hit these numbers. Those are point hits. These are our scoring numbers. I wanna get in, get out, get to my goal, and go home. Or go upstairs, or go to dinner, or whatever else the casino wants me to do while they pay for it. All right, here we go. Short roll. That's another three, two, five. You know what? Shout out to the guys who drive this stick over here in the center. They can maneuver these dang dice all over the place. That's another three, two, five. All right, so what I'll do on mine, 25 pays 35. Right here, I'm now even, so I have to pick this up. I am gonna take it up to, the, to my uh, chip rack because now I have fully recouped all the money I think that I've got on the table. Oh, that's just, uh, five's already marked, so they're not gonna remark the five. I just turn my dice because I like to count how many times I throw a number, just so y'all know. This is how I track, this is how I track when I'm at home doing these things. All right, they're gonna send me the dice again and dice are out, that's what they'll call, so that means basically no more bets. You're gonna have that one squirrely guy, like my buddy Big Money Mike. Once the dice get into someone's hand, he gets this weird feeling, and he's gonna say, ah, 
Uh, I, I want a high low or something like that, right? He'll throw it out there at the last minute. He screws up the table. I, again, I think I'm, I've been gambling with him now for the last five years, so it doesn't bother me no more. <laughs> I'm sure he's watching. He's probably laughing his ass off. All right, here we go. Dice are out, and we're going to go again. Uh, four, two, six. Here we go. Four, two, six. I'm going to mark that six. All right, here's going to be my first hit on the six. 30 pays 35, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pull this one as well. That's my first six. I usually don't want to press my sit my first number on these things. Again, my goal before I start really jumping out there is to get to get some monies back. All right, anyway, they're going to say dice out again after they're done paying everybody. And I'm ready to go. Again, I'm focusing on my landing zone or doing the best I can right now while I'm talking to you guys. Uh, but what you're seeing is exactly what's going on at a, at a craps table when I'm actually there. Now, I did, uh, so that you guys know, I did have my table built by a, a company. So this is not something I bought at a store. I, I actually had it built from the ground up so that I could get as close to spec as possible. So we've got vinyl and we've got foam underneath here. That's why it's a small padded. The loud clack that you hear, that's a 5-5-10, hard 10. Ah, oh, you know what, I screwed up my own plan. God, dog it. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm supposed to have a four, six, eight, or 10. I'm supposed to have a $5 hard ways bet and I would've got that. But that's okay, I'm not gonna complain. All right, it's gonna be 50 for one. I'll drop a dollar and he'll pay me. And then I gotta mark my 10 over here. Oh, it's already been marked, there we go. Boom, and it's my point. Okay, there we go. So I hit my point. There's session number one, pretty much finished. Oh, wait a minute, I gotta pay my, uh, oh, I forgot to pay myself behind the, my pass line bets. Holy smokes. Goodness gracious. Dang, it. I'm shortchanging myself here, y'all. How can y'all let me do that? <laughs> okay, so now I will tell you with 100% confidence, we are on the house's money. Okay. So now I've made one point. If your casinos have fire bets, we've got our very first one. I'm going to get some fire bet chips here too so you all can see how that works. Um, sure, you've been messing a lot of money on this thing, right? <laughs> Good thing for casinos. Anyway, back to what I was telling you. Hey, I got the table made. It was made to specs. I uh, had it shipped in and uh, we assembled it. And this is what I practice on. So I'm practicing as close to casino specifications as possible. The only thing I am going to do now is I'm going to reorder new dice because these dice are, uh, they're not really to spec. Uh, I will be getting some spec dice uh, hopefully here in the next two weeks. So we'll see how it goes. All right, my bets are on. Uh, all bets are on for me and I am ready to go. Dice are out again. Now this is, uh, this all, all bets on is uh, not for everyone, okay? You do what you feel comfortable. I will tell you this. There are six out of 36 combinations of the dice to get a seven. If you don't know how to control your dice and you don't know how to reduce your sevens in that 36 count, you may want to keep your dice or your bets turned off. All right, here we go. I got the dice. Dice are out. All right, that is a five, four, nine. Five, four, nine. So I'm gonna move this to our nine. And I'm gonna mark the nine. And I get, oh, I get paid on the nine, guys. I keep forgetting. Yeah, here we go. Just like that. I'll take that up to my chip rack, why not? Oh, you know what, no I'm not. Ha. 
gonna go ahead and put a hundred dollars in that five. Why not? Okay. And uh, they're gonna hand me the dice again. I'm already looking at this thing, saying, "Okay, I'm profitable already. I don't know that I need to get much more into the into the game." And I'll show you when we're done just how much we got. I'd like to hit the uh, all tall, the all small for you guys in this next in this 20 minutes that we have. Dice are out. Again, focus on my mechanics. Focus on my landing zone. Focus what these dice are doing, okay? That's what my goal and my objective always, always is. All right, that is a 3-3 three, three, hard six. 3-3 three, three, hard six, okay? Uh, six has already been marked. All right, 30 pays 35. That's my second time to hit the six. So I'm gonna go ahead and press that six up and I'm gonna drag five dollars. Nothing major, nothing, nothing major to write home about. But again, the money I'm dragging is just extra five dollars. I am on house money. I am on casino money. There's nothing, there's nothing here that's, right now, I'm, there's nothing I'm, I've got on my own that's at risk. Okay, so dice are out, and once again, I'm focusing on my landing zone, I'm focusing on the velocity of these dice, my grip, my mechanics, and where I want those dice to hit again, okay? Now again, on one of my other ones, my other video, I told you guys, one of the toughest things to do is to keep these dice from spinning in the air. 100% true. This is a 6.5 yield. 6.5 yo. Ooh, I get to mark that. Nice. There we go. 6.5 yo. That is a field bet or a horn bet. My philosophy is always if I see a horn, or if I see a extreme, which this is one of the extremes, I bet the field. I don't, you know, it's not a big bet, it's just a field bet. That's all it is. Okay? So the dice are gonna come to me again on just for recap so that you guys know. All I need to do is hit the 8 and a 12 for my all tall, 2, 3, 4 on my all small. I'm still scoring on numbers and I've done a regression. I will hit the 5 here probably this throw or the next throw just so that you know. I'm hoping. I'm hoping as long as everything goes well. All right, dice are out. Again, this is where you don't want to get too cocky either. Um, again, that's why I'm always relatively quiet. Maybe that's why I talk so much in my videos. I've got some pent up. You know, I don't even know what you want to call it. Jabbering. All right, here we go. Dice are out. I'm going to focus on my landing zone again. My mechanics. Breathe, and I know exactly what I want to do here. Hopefully, I make what I'm looking to make. Ooh, did not like that at all. That's a 628. That's a 628. That was almost catastrophic, y'all. 628. The reason I say that was almost catastrophic because from my point of view, again, with the naked eye, it looked like my dice almost kissed each other. When that happens, it is nothing but disaster for me. That's my first time to hit an eight, so I'm gonna drag it. Every time my dice kiss each other, it spells disaster in the worst way. It's, it's spelled S-E-V-E-N, right? or big red, you know, or whatever else you want to call it, right? Okay, where at? Uh, oh, I just need a 12. That's all I need, okay. So all we need is a 12, and we get, uh, we'll hit the all tall, or I can start looking at uh, climbing down, 234, 2, 3, and 4. All right, guys, dice are out. Let's hit this five. Let's get paid on that five so I can move on and count up my monies and close this video out. Here we go. Now, they're gonna tell you, your dice need to hit the back wall there, sir. And I'll tell them, this is exactly what I tell them. I don't do it every time. They just stuck, but I'll do my best. Thank you, sir. That is uh, two, perhaps two. 
I'll take it. It doesn't pay me anything, but it leaves me two more right here. Okay, extreme is what that's called. See an extreme? Bet the field. That's what I do. Don't know why? Just the way I do it. Sometimes they come in pairs. Sometimes they come in repeaters. Sometimes they do it. Sometimes they don't. But I've got a much better chance of hitting a four, nine, and ten along with my four extremes, two, three, eleven, and twelve. That's why I do it. Okay, dice are out. And here we go. Let's get my nine or my five. Be nice. Close out this video with a big win for you guys. Maybe even hit that 12. Oh, oh. Spun the dice. That was horrible. That was horrible. But it's going to spin out a 2 1 3. 2 1 3. Now, not everyone's perfect, guys, okay? So, I know you guys are watching this and you're saying, well, man, your dice are spinning. Yeah, I know. It's like I said, it's a lot easier said than done. It's a lot easier said than done. Even with someone who practices as much as I do, it doesn't always happen that way. Uh, especially when you are doing something else other than throwing dice. Uh, I'm probably going to do another video where I don't do anything but throw dice. I won't even talk. I'll probably just sit here and let the dice do the talking. I'll just do nothing but just shoot. That's what I'll do. All right, so I just need a four and I need a 12. Now, for those of you who've been watching some videos, this is, a, this is where I've always gotten the question asked, why don't you hedge your four against what you got out here? Okay, well, I mean, that's a great idea, but to me, honestly, it doesn't really matter. I don't, I don't matter. It doesn't, I, I'm, I haven't quite got that set up yet, right? So, yeah, this is a great opportunity. For those of you who like to do hedge bets, this is a great opportunity to lay against your four. Great opportunity for that. Uh, let's say you put, uh, well, see, mine's going to be 350, so you could put, you could put, uh, I don't know how they actually calculate this one here. Laying on the four, I think I got to put down a $200 to get $100. If I make the four, I'll only win 150, right? I guess some, something like that. I mean, I haven't really laid bets and I don't hedge it. The other one here is the 12, and I know that uh, the other betting strategy that I've seen says, hey, start hopping your sevens, uh, because chances are you're gonna throw one. Be careful with that if you got a shooter, okay? They're good strategies, and I'll tell you, uh, if you haven't visited his channel, his name is Vince Armenti, uh, A-R-M-E-N-T-I. Uh, he's got a good channel. He does a lot of this. He's got some great strategies, too. I, as a matter of fact, my wife and I love watching his videos. We love watching them when him and his wife start interacting with one another. They're great. Um, but this would be a great opportunity where he would tell you, hey, it's time to hedge this four. That's a great scoring opportunity. And then now either hop the sevens or, you know, whatever. Um, but if I'm controlling the dice, I have two choices here. I have to look at how many times have I rolled these dice. Uh, and I'll tell you, total. Here we go. I'll tell you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So eleven times I've touched these dice, eleven times I've thrown them. If I'm not com comfortable or confident that I can throw another four or five times, because these are place bets, I can either turn them off and say, look, turn them off. I will pick up my odds that I've laid behind my pass line and the only number I would have working is my contract bet, which is a pass line bet that you cannot pick up. For those of you who are new, those that's a stuck bet there. And this, it's the only thing I got left. But at this point, I don't want to turn these off or bring them down. Hell, I've already gone through the hard part. All I need is a four. All I need is a 12. 12 is going to be tough to hit. The four, yeah, I might get it. But you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm confident what I'm going to do, but I'm going to do this just for the video purposes, just to show you guys what you can do. I'm going to regress down to just the minimum bets for me, $25 the way I started in, and I'm going to go ahead and cover or protect $105 of extra profit 
that I'm going to bring up to the table, okay? Just because I kind of stopped with the dice, so it might I might throw a seven. I don't know. You never know. It's dice, right? It's, I can't I can't guarantee I'm not going to throw one. Hell, um, my last video you guys saw, I was I was uh, it was me against my wife. We were doing a 36 dice roll, and uh, I think she was she got pretty much the six, and I brought mine down to three. Uh, usually I'm a two to three. So we'll see. That means that 12 times 3 is 36. Guess what roll this is? Number 12. That means I'm probably going to roll a 7 based on the averages. Right? So I have to, you got to know your numbers. That's the other thing, too. Know your numbers. Uh, this is my number. So dice are out. You're not allowed to talk this much at a casino table. You'll slow it down. But I just want you guys to also see that for someone who is talking and slowing down the entire game to, to something that's very, very slow, it's not affecting me too terribly bad on my throw. That is dangerous. Landing on money, kissing money, <laughs> did, everything, did everything that you could possibly imagine on the money. <laughs> that's a 516. All right, that's my third six. So again, now that I know where I'm at, I'm gonna to continue to pull the money back now, right? Because now that was roll number 12. My average was 12 on that last roll one. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you what I really averaged, but just on that last video, it was 12. So I'm gonna go up based on what you guys are seeing on my videos. So that you can see I'm, I'm staying true to how this plan actually would work. The only variation that I've done right now is I used my noodle and I reduced down the bets based on my last average rolls. So dice are out. They come over to me. I look and get it again. Again, I'm focusing on my landing zone, guys. And a lot of you guys are tr probably looking at this thing going, man, how in the hell are you calling that? controlling the dice or a controlled throw those son of a bitches are bouncing all over the place yes and no it's what you don't see that's that's making a difference here uh, and for those of you that actually subscribe to uh, found him bone thrower i haven't seen too many videos from him but he and i share the same ideology when it comes to these dice. 639. We're going to control them in the air as much as we can, right? Uh, nine, what am I doing over here? We we're, we're, can't really control the dice. We're going to influence them the best we can to the best of our abilities. There we go, made my point. And when they land, it's okay to let them get jumbled up. I am A-OK -okay with that. I am A-OK -okay with that. It doesn't bother me, not in the least bit. Because you want them to. The other thing about it is, so that you know, my, my vision on it is, the reason I throw from the end of the table is honestly, nobody can really accuse me of cheating because then they would be admitting that I'm controlling the outcome of the dice from the farthest part of the table, which is almost impossible. Wouldn't you agree? It's like a magician. Think about it like that. This is like being a magician. Is there really a trick to it? Or am I deceiving your eyes? Think about it like that. All right, my bets are on. Because he's going to, bets are on, he's going to ask me. Bets are on, yep, he'll put a, uh, he'll put a little uh, lammer right there that says on. And we're going to continue to go. I just want this 4 and 12 to hit, y'all. I don't think I've hit a uh, all tall, all small on one of my videos yet. So here we go. Bets are, all my bets are on. And I'm looking for a 4 or a 12. Booyah. Oh, shit. I zoom. There he goes. It was bound to happen. That is a 617. I don't think I was concentrating. There, but it is bound to happen. Son of a gun. Come on over here. There you go. 617. 617. If 
puck was off, but everything gets reset. Now for everybody else, it was a good thing. But for me, because my bets were on, I lost, yes? Am I sad about it? Yes, yes I am. Why is that? Well, okay, well, we'll count. 10, 25, 50. Oh, well, I did win on my past line bet. So here's 10, 25, 50, 60. I'm sorry, there's 100. Sorry, guys, I guess I can't count today. There's 150, 175, 185 that just got ripped off the table. Too bad, so sad, but no worries, guys. I did pick up a $25 pass line bet. And guess what? We're done with our video. It's quick and easy. Now, for those of you who have been keeping track of what's been going on, money-wise, I'm gonna show you. Again, I bought in for how much? A thousand, right? Five singles and we're gonna see what we did here in this short 20 minutes one two three four five I think that's five right yes that's five golly come on guys work with me here work with me here dealer I am not shooter I am gambler 100% Okay, there's 100. Okay, 100 right here. I'll take a $100 chip. There's 50 more. I'll take two of those. Now, yeah, big stack. That's, that right there's 500. Today, y'all. There's five. Okay. Fifty and fifty. I mean, shit. That's five hundred. That's five hundred right there. Fifty and fifty. Sorry. All right. There's five of those. Sorry for the lengthiness of the video. Here at the end, counting up the chips, fumbling through them. That's gonna be uh, 200, 375. So I'm gonna take some three. Three of those. So that y'all can see, one, two, three, four. Four quarters is 100. There's three of them right there. Okay, so I can't. I can't bust that down any further. The original buy-in was for a thousand. One, two, three, four, five. There's five. There's five more. So there's my buy-in. One, two, three, four, five. There's my buy-in for a thousand. Here's our profit. One, two, three, four hundred seventy-six dollars profit. That's it. 476 profit in roughly 26, 27 minutes, maybe something like that. Doing a control, control throw. I missed my ATS by two numbers, the four on the small, the 12 on the tall. There you go. I know you guys wanted to see it done. Well, that's as best as I can do in short notice. <laughs> so, thanks again, guys, for uh, watching. I really appreciate the comments. Um, for those of you in Australia, I know this might be a little early, but thank you guys for watching. I appreciate that. Uh, the, those of you in Canada, thank you again. Uh, and then, of course, all across the U.S., you know, here we go, red, white, and blue. So, guys, thanks again. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for uh, liking and subscribing my videos. Thank you for the comments. Again, 
uh, as I get more and more of you, uh, as far as uh, members or subscribers, uh, the uh, comments are getting harder and harder, I see, to respond to. So if I don't respond to you the same day, uh, please be patient. It's not because I'm uh, avoiding you. It's because i got to go read through all of them and then respond back to all the other ones. I'm getting quite a bit of comments, more than what I expected. Uh, but again, thanks again. Uh, like, subscribe, and then if there's anything else, uh, let me know. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.